Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Have you seen my latest Dollar Tree haul? If you haven't, I'm gonna put it right here in an iCard. I show this in that video. By the way, welcome friends, family, perfect strangers, welcome back to our channel. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, ready? Okay, I found from the Crafty Nile, but I thought this might be nice because some of the signs that we did pick up from the Dollar Tree, the pom-pom tails on the bunnies were kind of smushed and damaged and some are filthy remember but they're tiny I need to find the tiny pom-poms but this is a 24 count of like the medium sized pom-poms and this is an 18 count of the bigger size pom-poms and it does have the little Easter bunnies right there to let you know that this is part of the Easter crafts but this doesn't have to be used for Easter this can be used for your round arts and crafts whatever you would like uh, next up for Easter baskets, I picked up this uh, Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book for the grandson. I picked up the Hello Kitty for Wildfire. It's her favorite. Then I picked up this not to use as a coloring book. I picked this up to be on display, on display, on display, on display, um, with my Easter decor because it's the Tale of Peter Rabbit. And I think I'm going to try to find something to cover this part up right here. But it's got some really cute pictures in it too. So there's that. So that's part of Easter decor for me. I'm not going to use it as a coloring book. Next up I found, these are new this year. I, if they were out last year, I surely did not see them. And also, I don't know if I missed out on other prints. But I, or designs but I found these two pack of like popcorn they're calling them what popcorn tubs yeah they're calling popcorn tubs but you can put pens pencils you can put the foam eggs the decorative eggs you can put candy you can do whatever you want once you buy it you don't have to use it for popcorn so this first one says happy Easter with the egg I mean the egg the bunny rabbit hugging the egg and the second one is like a wreath with the truck and the eggs in the bed of the truck. And again, you get two of these. They're two packs. So make sure that you have two whenever you pick them up. Also, a lot of people didn't see that it was a two pack. So it was sitting like this and people were trying to pull them apart. So a lot of them were broken. So check yours before you purchase to make sure that they are not broken, that they are intact and that you do have both of them right there. So there are those. Then I thought these were so stinking cute. These are also little buckets and I was only gonna get one set but then I looked and each one has a different design and I thought it would just be cute to just kind of add to the decor. If they're too chintzy or too childish then I'll pass on them and I'll just give them to the kids. But they are calling these buckets and you get two pieces so you get two so this one has the purple and the pink and it actually shows you what designs you get on them okay so you can actually look at that and see which designs you get the other one is the yellow and purple look at the little bunny rabbit on the bicycle so stinking cute with the balloons on the back and then the purple one is the chick so is that design the same as this one yeah, so basically there's only three, or at least I only got three because I got one that's like the same color. I don't know if they were all like that because can I tell you, there was hardly any left of those. And the ones that were there were the same that I am showing you. Next, I picked up Easter Confetti. This first one, you get the silhouette of the bunnies. Sorry, silhouettes of the chicks, the flowers, and the bunnies, like in hopping mode. Then there's this one that you get the chicks, the eggs, and then Happy Easter. So there are those. I also was able to find the uh, wire edged ribbon. I found it in this with the different silhouettes of the bunnies. I found the truck with the carrots in the bed of the truck. And it says carrot patch ahead. 
And then I also picked up the blue and white gingham print. So there are those if you're interested. They had so many different Easter ribbons. The wide, the thin, tons. If you need it, grab it now because it will, will be gone whenever you are looking for it. So grab now. Also, I picked up these for my girls. They are the little carrot um, garland. Six feet. You only get six carrots. You've got your loops so that you can hang it if you want to hang it like from a mantle. So wherever you want to hang it from, you've got hanging, hanging ability. That goes to you, right? Ow! <laughs> I, I literally was nowhere near her. Um, my adult kids want Easter baskets. I didn't get them any last year. I always get them, always. But last year I did not. I was like, enough's enough. Like, we have grandkid, or at that time we had a grandchild. Like, no need, right? But then somebody wrote to me on social media and told me that I was going to go, I was going to be put in a nursing home because they didn't get an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. So... We won't say who said that. So I picked up, I can't get it apart. Oh well, it's the same exact design. I cannot get them apart. Ay, give them to me. Ay, Marisol. Look, it's so stinking cute. And I picked up this color for the girls and this color for the boys. No, Wildfire's real name is not Marisol. We're doing the Real Housewives of Miami. Ay, Marisol. No, I can't get them apart. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, come. Yeah, come on. Get it together. Stinking cute, right? These are new this year. I don't remember seeing these last year. But then again, they get so many of the Easter baskets. I might have overlooked them. I don't know. To me, this is new this year, but I don't know. I might be wrong. These are baking molds. Bunnies. I'm pretty sure those are new. Baking molds. Do you have to bake in them? No. You know what else you can do in them? You can put Play-Doh. You can put wax from candles. You, I says you can do whatever you like. You can put jello. Mm -hmm. So I got it in the pink, the blue, and the purple. Why? Because I have three daughters. Each one's going to get one in their Easter basket. Wildfire, all her surprises are going out the door. It is what it is. She's here. Then, Peeps theme. Remember I told you Peeps theme in the basket? Not for my newborn granddaughter, but for the little girl in our life. Look. Those are cute. It's little peep snails. Not snails. Nails. So stinking cute. So there's that. Then I found new garland. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. My body too bootylicious for you. The first garland, black and white checkered print, very farmhouse. Look at it. It's the bunny, and it's got the cotton tail. You know the, what's it called again? Not powder puff. Pom pom. Thank you. I heard you. Pom pom tail. Silhouette, so stinking cute. There's that one. Then, if that wasn't enough, they brought out the buffalo check. Eggs. Is this a banner? Yes, a garland. Yes. I was thinking they were indiv individual ornaments or something. And then the last one. Are you ready? Carrots and bunny rabbits. Is that puppy tail dirty too? It is. All of them are. Okay, I have a sign that I showed two halls back. All the bunny tails are dirty like this. Like if somebody dipped them in coffee or tea or something. That's strange. But anyway, there's that as well. Then they also have this garland. Now does this or does this not match the little tiny miniature eggs that I picked up at Dollar General? Have you seen that video? If not, I'll put in an iCard right here so you can check it out. And all of these are going to who? Was it the youngest that wanted? Uh, sure. No, no, no. 
She wanted the carrots. You wanted this. She doesn't like speckled eggs. Ow! Hey, you could use that as a necklace. Yeah. You could use that as a necklace. Next up, for decor, I think. Well, I need the gemstones for necklace. I was gonna say that too, Wilma. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have they have brought out the plastic tubs. They usually bring these out for Christmas. They brought out this first one is like a very light purple, like a lilac color, and it says shake your cotton tail. The teal one that they brought out says bunny trail. The yellow one they brought out says bunnies, bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And then the purple one says Easter's on its way. And it's got the truck with the bunny ears and the little eggs on the back. So just for simple decor, or if you wanna actually do your children's, your grand little, anybody, you wanna do their Easter basket with the stuff in here, you can use these as well. I think that's what they're marketed for. Um, also, I picked up these. I am missing one from this set of three, um, so I'm going to still be hunting for it. It's the one that talks about the carrot patch, but I did find these, and I was happy to at least find these two. It is treats for my peeps with the little chicks at the bottom, and then Cottontails, Candy Cafe, and Jelly Beans. So there are those. Next up, Easter socks. The first ones that I'm going to share with you are the crew socks. This one is so stinking cute. It's a little puppy dog sitting in a basket of eggs with the little Easter bunny ears on. Then there is Smart Chick with the little chick wearing glasses and wearing bunny ears as well. Then there is this one that says... Hell, I don't know what it says, but it's got the little bunnies, the little bunny butts. Then there's this one that says hello spring with the gnome holding the heart and then the last one is just silhouettes of the easter bunnies and the flowers then let's go with the low cut socks for easter this first one says happy easter Arr. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. A dinosaur, maybe, wearing. If it's going R, then yeah, I would think so. I thought they said raw with an R. That's what it is. Anyway, it's a dinosaur. Then there's the cute little chick that says, "Easter's here." And the little chick has that like fluff. It's so soft. So soft. Fill it, wildfire. Ow. This one has the soft stuff too, the little gnome. Oh, yeah. It's super soft. They're I don't like know how thicker. to thicker. I don't know how to explain it and it feels a lot okay. thicker material. It's nice. Here you go. Now then we come in here. Then we come into the Sorry. metallic threading. This is not soft. It's itchy. But it's real stinking cute with the bunny rabbit, the carrots and the eggs and then the other metallic one is this little llama with the Easter ears. Soul's thinking cute. So there's those if you're interested. Next up, I did find some new signs. There are two or three that I'm looking for that I still haven't found. But let me share with you what I did find. I found the bunny face burlap bow. Happy Easter with the carrots. Check these very well because some of these were messed up. And some of the twine here was messed up. So make sure that you check them before you buy. These are new and they are so stinking, so stinking cute. They're very, they look very vintagey. I made up my own word. Or is that such a word, vintagey? I don't think so. They're very vintage-like. And this is what they look like. And it's Happy Easter Cottontails Farm Fresh Eggs. And then Bunny Trail Farms Egg Hunts daily 25 cents a basket and i just thought that those were so stinking cute with the faux you know wood backgrounds to them faux shiplap so there's those next up these are so stinking cute and there's three in the set so i feel like this one should go in the middle this is pick your own carrot patch fruits herbs veggies farm fresh daily it does have the twine for it to hang from but if you don't want to hang it you can add a kickstand to it 
Then the next one is, and I think it should go to this side, it is Cotton Tell Company Easter Egg Farm. Fill your baskets open daily. Who wanted it? We're going to get this. Okay. I think it should go on that side. And then your last one is Hippity Hops Carrot Patch Organic Locally Grown. 25 cents. I'm going to tell you how I, if once I put these on display, this is the way they're going to be. Give me a minute. Look how beautiful those are together. I absolutely love these. And I was super excited to find them. Again, not exactly the ones that I'm looking for. There's two that I'm two or three that I'm looking for that I haven't found. Then these, again, stepping up their stepping up their game. These are wood framed, natural wood framed. But then they are all checker print. This first one is the black and white buffalo check. Cotton tells pick your own carrot patch. Then there is this one, Cotton Tail Farms Annual Easter Market. Bunny trails, carrots, and candy. Bunny parking in the back. I'm going to try to maneuver this. And the last one, Bunny Trail Farms open daily 9 to 5. Farm fresh eggs and produce locally grown, established in 1925. There's the three of those. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful. And again, uh, honestly, unless you tell somebody or they actually shop at Dollar Tree, I would not believe that these are from Dollar Tree. I mean, they are really, really nice. Not so much the thickness or, you know, what it's made on or what it's printed on. It's the fact of the actual design. They're really, really nice. And it's not so chintzy and cartoony, if that makes sense. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, about cartoony. I think I already have these, but I was worried. What if I don't? These are the tags, like shaped like a tag. And it says, the hunt is on. Woo! The heat is on. The hunt is on. This chick is ready for Easter. And again, you can see they're like tags, but like oversized blown up tags, right? And then the last one from this set is Follow the Bunny, He Has Chocolate. And that's the one I remember. Follow the Bunny, He Has Chocolate. And he does have the... How do I keep forgetting that word? Pom Pom Tell. So there are those if you're interested. I think, I'm pretty sure that those are a repeat from the last year, from last year and the year before. At the very least, I know for sure from last year. So there is that. And then the last thing that I got, and this is actually from the Dollar Tree slash Dollar Plus section. They had this light set that's battery operated. Um, it's three feet long, white LEDs, indoor use only. It's a 10 piece of the eggs, the crystallized eggs. They're made to look crystallized, but they're plastic. No, they're not plastic. They're rubber or silicone or something. I'm not sure what they're made out of. But that's what that looks like. I honestly wanted more than one, but they only had one in the whole store. So I was happy to at least get the one. And then I'm going to throw in only because I found two items at Dollar General that I wanted to share with you. I'm just going to throw it in on this video as well. I hope you don't mind. I picked up this $2 sign. If you remember, I had one that said, Hello Spring. I finally found... Finally, I finally found the one that says Happy Easter that goes with it. Weird that it's got this watermelon colors on the side, but I do like the actual sign itself. It's got the little bat, not basket, what's it called? Eggs nest with the eggs. And then the other thing that I picked up, last thing that I picked up from Dollar General, this was $5. It's the Easter, it's a ceramic or resin. I would say probably resin. It's a gnome, and it's got the carrot sign that says Happy Easter. It's an actual sign. And the other hand, he's holding an Easter egg, and it looks like that. It's got his bunny ears. I just thought that was so stinking cute. And then can you imagine the two together? Oh, so cute. Or even, let's see, even this 
and then come in with the ones from Dollar Tree. You can make like a whole setup. So yay! So that, you all, is my Dollar Tree buys for this video. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comment section down below. Know that I love hearing from each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support that you show me and our channel. Uh, honestly, words can't even describe. But that being said, if I could ask you for a huge favor, if you could hit that thumbs up, it lets me and YouTube know you like these kinds of videos. Also, it helps me to get referred or suggested out so that new friends and family can discover the channel. Also, sharing is caring. If you could share on your social media, with your friends, with your family, um, so that we can get new family members as well. Also, if you're not a family member, if you'd like to be, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell next to it. That gives you notifications as to when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.